Welcome to the Enon Church. At the Enon Church, we endeavor to lift Christ, to seek the salvation of the unsaved, to foster a unity of faith, and promote a more excellent way of living. We want to welcome you into today's virtual worship experience. is talking about but this is a Negro spiritual right here so what happened when the slaves had been working out in the fields all day long and the masters had been mistreating them they sent a signal to the master that says you're still not in control of me you may be in control of me on this field but the real master of my life is still in control so they looked and said right on King Jesus they laughed at the master's face and said this, Wide on! Clap those hands. 
Give the Lord a praise. No man can I hinder thee. To all our visitors, members, and friends, welcome to Enon's virtual worship service and happy Black History Month. Thanks for joining us for this special celebration of our heritage here at the Enon Church. You are seated in the virtual seat of honor. We remain in prayer for all those bereaved families and those that are on the waiting to be healed and delivered list. We remain in prayer for Ukraine as they undergo an aggressive and violent Russian invasion. We pray for their safety and well-being. Today, we place the spotlight on the history and heritage of the Black culture as we celebrate Black History Month. Through the songs that will be featured today, we are reminded of the messages of freedom and hope that have been carried from slavery through this present age. We celebrate Black excellence today and all year long. This Wednesday, March 2nd, is Ash Wednesday and the start of the Lent season for 2022, a season of dedication for transformation. While everyone should make their own personal choices about what they will sacrifice during the Lent season, we will incorporate a 40-day corporate fast each day excluding Sundays. In addition to corporate fasting, everyone is asked to pray three times a day at 6 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. Please plan to join us as we will have corporate prayer every Wednesday during the Lent season at 6 a.m. Dial in using 351-888-6187. Details will be noted on the website. A daily scripture reading and reflection is now available on the church website to guide our prayer time through this Lent season. Next Sunday, we will have Holy Communion. If you are in need of additional communion kits, please stop by the church office. If you were born in the month of February, we want to wish you a happy and blessed birthday. school seniors who are members and have completed Enon's new members class. Please send an email to info at the enonchurch.org with student's name, parent's name, cell numbers, and email addresses. Please RSVP with this information by Monday, March 28, 2022, in order to attend the mandatory meeting and apply for the scholarship. If you are in need of counseling, need prayer or financial assistance, please text the keywords Enon Prayer or Enon Support to the number 54244. If you wish to join the ministry, even if you are not local to Atlanta, text the keyword Join Enon to join the Enon Church, or you can text the keyword Enon Salvation to learn more about the plan of salvation. There are three ways to give, by mail, through the website, and mobile giving. Text the keyword ENMG to the number 54244 or send it through mail, 3550 Enon Road, Atlanta, Georgia, 30349. You may also give by visiting www.theenonchurch.org. Since the beginning of our nation's history, black people have been put down, slid to the side, only to cover our other brother's pride. As I look back on our nation's history, the only thing that has really changed is that the black man isn't working for free. We're still given the same low-paying jobs, living in poverty, as we continue to plead at the man's knee. But we can't completely blame the man because what he's done is cheap. We never really think about what if his shoes were on our feet. Because sometimes what my brothers and sisters fail to realize is that we do come from royalty. The motherland is the origin of true serenity, and without it, where would we be? But we don't respect it, we neglect it. We fight each other when we should be loving each other, and the only thing that we're doing is watching the man's plan. 
His plan is for us to split amongst ourselves. You know he wants us to fall like a house built without nails, but little did we know we were just allowing his plan to come true. We start off in elementary schools of and getting in clicks of people that we find cool, and then we get to middle school, start wearing certain clothes, wearing our hair a certain way, just to make sure that we can fit in the click one more day, and then we get to high school, oh boy, what a change, because then we start selling drugs and shooting our brothers all for a name. But yet we complain about our young men and women going to jail. Yet we complain about our young African-American men and women not being able to get into schools like Yale. Yet we complain that the system is beating us. Is it really the system or is there somewhere along the line where we as a people drop the ball? I grew up in the church and from my elders, I would always hear that it ain't about how hard you fall. It's about how you get back up again. I get sick and tired of people always saying that there is no change coming for this generation, but there can be a change if this generation and the previous learn to accept each other's differences. People has changed, society has changed, but the only thing that does remain the same is hatred. But when that day comes that we can put the hatred aside, then we can do like MLK said and start a chain reaction of love, joy, and peace throughout the world. Maybe then we can all just be one in the same. Good morning, Enon. It's wonderful to be here once again. This morning we want to do something a little different. We want to celebrate the heritage and history of black gospel music. Black gospel music has had such an impact on all of our lives. I know it's touched us in many ways and it's actually our run to when things are going wrong in our life. So we thought it would be befitting to bring in some of the greatest gospel singers ever in this world to help us out because Lord knows we know they know this gospel. So we have with us special with us today at the Enon family, Sister Dottie Peoples. Can we give her a hand here? <laughs> Dottie Peoples is one of Georgia's most renowned figures in gospel music. Um, she's from Dayton, Ohio, um, where she completed high school and started touring immediately after high school. Lord, that says about a lot. Of, actually, she had a stint in jazz, and she relocated to Atlanta, Georgia in 1979 and returned to her gospel roots. She has been labeled as the songbird of the South, and we can't help but agree with that, the songbird of the South. We love you, Dana. Ain't Dottie. <laughs> Dottie is known for songs like, tell me if you know these, God Can, The Little Wooden Church, Closet Religion, Testify, Get Your House in Order. And ain't Dottie, I don't know if you remember this, but he's an on-time God. Yes, he is. So we want to thank them for being here. And then also with us, we have evangelist Dorothy Norwood in the house as well. Oh, give it up for Evangelist Dorothy Norwood. She is also one of the world's greatest gospel storytellers, is what we call her, the world's greatest. Uh, she, was born in, as, she was born here in Atlanta, Georgia, amen? Amen. amen. And is an American gospel singer and songwriter. She began touring with her family at the age of eight and was, began singing with Mahalia Jackson and became a member of the world-renowned Caravans. Oh, my God. Dorothy is indeed a gospel pioneer and who's known for songs and hits like Victory is Mine, The Storm is Almost Gone, Near the Cross, Somebody Prayed for who? For me. And Hattie B's daughter. Thank God for mama. That's Hattie B's daughter, y'all. <laughs> and this is one. I wonder if you remember this right here. Anybody remember this? Help me out, Clarence. Wow, I bet y'all don't know this. Shake them off. Yeah, what is it? Come on, say it, shake. Shake it off. Come on, get up and do it, say. What we gonna do? In the name. Shake him off. You tell us what is it. He's on the feet. I'm 
surprises for you there. <laughs> so I've got to say this, gospel by its very nature means the good news. And the gospel is good news. And the good news is that God sent Jesus into the world to save us from sins. But those of us who really, really love gospel music have our own intimate encounter and experience that defines gospel music. So I would love to hear from the two of you. And we'll start with you, Aunt Dottie. I would love to hear what experience or project in your life defines what gospel music is to you. What defines gospel music? What defines gospel music to me is knowing that people feel something when I sing. Just to see uh, tears in people's eyes, have people come up to me and say, my life has been changed by your music. Uh, that means more to me than anything. Amen. I love it. I love it. Evangelist, what, what, mean, what does gospel music mean to you? It's the truth. Amen. Gospel music, since I was a little girl at Mount Vernon Baptist Church here in Atlanta, I used to be on the front row singing songs like have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about my troubles. He'll hear your faintest cry and answer by and by. You hear, when you feel a little prayer wheel turning, you know the fire is burning. Have a little talk with Jesus. It'll make it right. It'll make it all right. I love it. I love it. Hey, Dottie, what was your, I know you sing, you're the songbird, so what was the first song you remember singing as a child? I would love to know what that first song was. Well, of course, I was like about 10, and the choir director, Miss Ballard, told me to sing a song, learn you a song, and I sung that morning, and people started shouting, and it scared me, because I didn't know why they were running and why they were doing what they were doing. But this particular song, One of these mornings Won't be very long You're gonna look for me And I'll be going on home yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to a place yes, Well, I have nothing Nothing, nothing, to do. nothing to do. Dorothy, we're gonna just walk around heaven all oh, oh, day. Dorothy, when we get to heaven, we're gonna jump and shout. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, nobody. We'll be able to put me out. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my mother, she's up there waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father ain't there yet, but I know he'll be there too. We're going to just walk around heaven. Walk around. Walk We're gonna around. walk around, walk around heaven. We're gonna walk around, walk around, walk around, yeah, walk around, walk around heaven. We're gonna walk around, walk around. Oh, yes, we will, yes, we will. Walk, walk. Much time. 
got that much time. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Yes, we will. understand why they was running around. I do. <laughs> I do too. Me too. Evangelist, you know I'm curious to know what was your first song you ever sung? Well, my first song was Have a Little Talk with Jesus. He'll make it right. I was just a little tot, and people used to come by my mother's house from church, and they put me in a high top chair, you know, those chairs where the babies sit in, and they waited to hear me sing. And I sung, I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. Anybody remember that? And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. Hey, it filled my soul with love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me cry. It's plain and simple. God, my God. Man, we thank God for y'all's gifts. I'm telling you. Right now, I, I really, I'm going to segue into this right now. Gospel music has went through so many turns and twists, and I would love to know, and I'm going to throw this one on you guys. How do you guys feel about where we are now in this generation with gospel music? Um, is this, as, do you, because I know one thing you said is that the most important is that you feel the music, and we know we feel you guys' music in a traditional gospel, but how do you feel about where we are now in the arena of gospel music? Well, I'll tell you about me. I feel like uh, it has changed so until the one that used to make me shout now make me want to do the boogie woogie. You know, uh, everything must change. Yeah. Nothing stays the same. I like some of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But when I really want to put me in E flat, a uh, close friend of mine passed away the other day, and he had been, he was with Bobby Jones for 30 years, yeah. and yeah. he produced a. Uh, uh, about 10 albums on me. One of the best keyboard players in gospel. Amen. He played the real gospel. Yes, yes. I'm talking about Derek yes, Lee. Yes. And uh, when I heard that, come on, put me in. I had to jump in and just go back down. I got a song, I got songs on my album called Old School Boulevard. All right. All right. Huh? Other words, the new stuff is all right. Like I said a while ago, it's all right. But if you get in trouble, yeah. hey, yeah. you will have to go back down old school and say, yes, yes. I need the old. Stay in your seat. Hey, every eye Say, 
little boy, the little further. That ain't baby, named Susan. Them used to say, "Shine, shine on me." Anybody need a light today? Raise your hand and tell him, "Shine." Let the church say yeah. between the two of you guys. It's so much chemistry between the two of you guys. How did you two meet? Because this, this just didn't happen. This, this is this something to this. Well, well I was out here uh, when Dottie was still a little girl, a little bitty girl. And I went to, uh, they know how with my group. And uh, because I had heard Daddy sing on the program, I said, I want her to sing in my group. <laughs> so I went up there and I asked her mother, I said, can, can Daddy go on the road and sing with me? She said, she can go on the road. Yes, she can, Miss Norwood. Take on with you. And I went too. And she went. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, we went to the Apollo Theater. And 
we stayed we stayed there for a whole week. And I'm telling you, uh, and another young lady named Lois Sneed yes, was in the group. And we had a song that we used to sing that was Plant My Feet on Higher Ground. Amen. And uh, put me in G. That was way she, she could sing way up there. I hope that's the right key. I was young then. Yeah, but you. you, you I was young then. I'm old now. <laughs> Never seen the righteous forsaken, though. <laughs> All right, Dorothy. I okay, drop it down to F. <laughs> I know my keys, honey. <laughs> I, 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 you're supposed to talk it. Press, I'm pressing on. Pressing on. The upward way, the upward way. New heights, some gain. New heights, some gain. Every day. I'm on with bound. I'm on with bound. Lord, Lord, plant my feet on higher. Oh, higher, higher, higher. Yeah. She wasn't hitting those notes then, but she hitting them now. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. And let me sing. My faith on heaven. Anybody got your faith on heaven? Hey. Wave your hand if you got your faith on heaven. 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 Play. No how you play that I, that I don't it, don't it. I have found love, 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 oh Lord, 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 plant my feet. Through the night, right? and I said, Lord, lift me up, Lord, lift me up, and let me stand, and let me stand by faith on heaven. She always know how to pick out the best singers. 
But you know God. Yeah, because I picked you. You sure did. That's what I'm saying, the best. <laughs> uh huh. But you know, when we, when, when, when I went with her, she had a hit song out. And Mick Jagger, the Rolling Stones, Stevie Wonder was on the road with us. Yes, all right. these famous people, <clears throat> all these famous people were on this card. Now, you know Mick Jagger and him, you know. That yeah. was big. Thank you. And he fell in love with her song, Gotta Be Some Rain in Your Life, to he appreciate the sunshine. With me. And he fell in love with you? <laughs> okay, he fell in love with her. And we, were, we opened uh, up the show every night. Yes. And th so this is how talented, extraordinary, I mean, all bundled into one little... <laughs> you kind of short, though. You, you were a little taller then. Were you a little taller? Yeah. A little taller. <laughs> you shrunk a little bit. You now. shrunk. <laughs> but but, I'm, but I'm, I just praise God for allowing me at that age to go out on the road with someone who respected me, who protected me, Amen. and loved me. Amen. And, and, and I want her to know how much you mean to me in my life and my career. And I want y'all to give her a big hand. Praise God. Praise <laughs> God. Come on, give daddy a big hand. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. And, uh, you know, when after I left the caravans, after I left uh, home, I went to Chicago. That's where I'm just about, about backing up a little bit here. And uh, I joined a group called the caravans. Anybody ever heard of the caravan? Uh, and there's a song that Let's sing this song, Lord, Keep Me Day by Day. All right, all right. Lord, y'all know that? All right. Well, go what key y'all putting it in? He, what key did you have it in a while ago? You take the low, I take the high. Lord, keep me day. In a pure and perfect way, I want to live. I want to live. Said I want to live. I want to live long. I'm a stranger here. I'm just a stranger here. Traveling through, traveling through this barren land. But that one thing I know, one thing I know, one thing I know. But you know, I tell him, Lord, keep my body strong so that I, so that I, I don't want to do no wrong. Do no no do no wrong. Wrong. And once you do that, give me grace, Jesus. Lord, give me grace. Give me a Just little more grace. Give me a little more grace.
Listen, listen, listen. Man, it has been a blessing sitting here with the two of you guys. Listen, I got to be honest with you. I'm a country guy from Ferris, Texas. I said it. Ferris, Texas. And to have the opportunity to sit here with the gospel greatest is beyond me. I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys. Love you guys so much. Listen, in honor of that, we wanted to do a little something for you, too, because we thank you for what you guys have contributed to gospel music. It has been a blessing to us. I mean, it's something about your songs that just carry us through. You know, no one can ever get away without saying on time God wasn't an on time song. Right. Dottie, can you just answer this for me before we end this segment right now? What does on time God mean to you in 2022? It means that we've all survived. COVID-19. That God, God has kept us. Yes. I don't know about you, but 2020 was a year. I'm old as, older than some of y'all. But when, when they said, go, don't go out of your house, mm -hmm. and everything on our calendar was erased. That's right. Everything. I was supposed to do the jazz festival. All that stuff was sipped. Yes. And I looked at my daddy, who's 94, and I take care of him. He lives with me. And I said, Lord, how am I going to make it? How am I going to pay these bills? Yes, Lord. And how am I going to survive and take care of that little bald-headed man right there? Yeah. But you know what? God was on time. God made it. Daddy, daddy went Wednesday. He got a good report. He's in good health. His mind better than mine sometimes. And God is good. And God has taken care of all of us. So many people have lost their lives, but God has kept you. You need to get up and give him some praise and just thank him for keeping you. I'm going to get up because I know he's kept me. He's an old time God. He may not come when you want him. But he will be, be old time. time. Yes, he will. And you know, when, when, when we walked in the door, the ladies told us, hey, you got to take a COVID oh, test. Oh, yes. I was the first one to take my test, and it came out negative. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, yes. Daddy Mine was her. negative too now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Daddy I, took her. I put Everybody that stuff up my nose and all that stuff. That's right, that's right. He's able. So you all are too. God has kept you too because I know she said everybody in here had to take that test. And if God has kept you COVID free, you need to shout and give him some praise. Shout and thank him tonight. Shout. Shout. church. They canceled my concert, but I didn't miss a meal. Oh, yeah. Church doors closed. Not only that, but I didn't miss a, let me tell you something. The mortgage company called and said, we gonna give you forbearance. Yeah. They kept giving me forbearance over and over and over and over again. I never had got a foreclosure letter. That house still sitting up there on that Heal. I'm still having to miss the meal every Thursday. I don't know where it comes from, but somebody bring me a meal for seven days. Oh, God is able. Yeah. Is he able? Yeah. I ain't getting no meal. I didn't get no meal, but I ate. Me and Daddy ate. Ah. I didn't lose. Ah. My I'm still
still riding in my Mercedes. All right, now. I ain't got no Mercedes. <laughs> but you got that But I got an Escalade. You got that Escalade cat lap. God is good. God is Ooh, good. Ooh, y'all gonna leave me alone. Listen, how many of y'all enjoyed yourself today? How many of you enjoyed yourself? We want to honor these two women of God right now. As you guys, actually they're coming right now with just a gift of love for you guys to appreciate you for who you are to the gospel community. And in observance of Black History Month, we wanted to honor you two queens of Atlanta and say how much we appreciate you so much. Y'all don't know how I feel. <laughs> when I looked at my daddy today, knowing that God has kept him, 94 years he's kept my dad. And I know y'all. Y'all need to praise me. Come on, let's thank God for gospel music. Let's just thank God for gospel music. We hope you enjoy it today, and we want to thank God for our legends and our living legends of gospel music. God bless you. God bless you. Let's give the Lord a hand right now. Amen. Hello, family. Now it's time to worship through our giving. You may pay your tithe and offering by using the details you see on the screen. Remember, there are three ways to give. You can give by mailing it, you can give it through our website, or you can give through our mobile giving. By texting the keyword ENANMG to 54244. Now, I like to sing an old familiar hymn before the benediction. It's a familiar hymn that I heard from Daddy Smith when I first got into the ministry. And this old familiar hymn goes like this. Guide me over, thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. 
Gracious Father, it is in the name of Jesus we come, Father, thanking you for this hour, thanking you for this moment, thank you for opportunity to come into your house one more time. Even in the pandemic, Father, we're here worshiping and praising your righteous and holy name. Thank you, sir. You've been good to us. Now when we leave this place, but never ever from your presence, we ask you, Lord God, to be with us until we meet again in the name of the Father, name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm.